some good news, but it still shows the fact that there is a lack of real accountability with the CPD and our city government. Um, it is a follow-up from Friday's episode as well. Uh, city to offer $2.9 million settlement to Anita Young over the botched police raid. Anna Yet, not Young, I think it's pronounced. Yeah. Uh, Anna Yet, yeah. Sorry, it's apologies. It's Sorry, apologies. Uh, and so, Jeanette Young, and Jeanette Young. And Jeanette Young. So uh, Mayor Lori Lightfoot's administration is proposing a $2.9 million settlement for Anjanette Young over a botched police raid. Um, the other persons were told in a closed door briefing Sunday evening about the proposed settlement amount. Young and three uh, and three other settlements are on the agenda for the finance committee meeting Monday. The other three cases had proposed settlement amounts listed, uh, but Anya Young v. City did not. Young, a social worker, again, a social worker who works for the city, a social worker, was in her near west side home uh, the night of February 21st, 2019. When several Chicago police officers entered announcing a raid, Young was undressed and getting ready uh, for bed at the time, and she was forced to remain naked in front of the officers for 40 minutes as the ordeal unfolded. Lightfoot's office and law department did not respond to requests for comment on the proposed settlement amount. On Friday, Lightfoot's office released a statement. It's our expectation that on Monday, the Finance Committee will be, will be presented with a proposed settlement for consideration regarding Ms. Young. Out of deference uh, to that process, we will not be commenting further. Lightfoot originally claimed she had known nothing about the botch raid until w, uh, WBBM TV Channel 2 announced a video uh, announced a video in December 2020. But after reviewing initial emails, emails the mayor admitted uh, a top aide brought the raid to her attention in November of 2019. Once again, Mayor Lightfoot, Mayor Lightfoot, lying and being what a hypocrite. What else is new? Uh, yeah, exactly. What else is new? What else is new about this mayor? Well, she's out yeah. of town trying to raise money to bring back and do what? Throw throw it more police overtime? Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of questions about this one. She wrote at the time uh, to top aides, young attorneys, Ken Salter, could not be reached for comment. Um, so $2.9 million, it's not enough. It's not um, enough. She went through utter humiliation. Uh, and pretty she, and, and, the and, trouble that she went through to just get get this story exposed in, on its own is shameful. How well, much they were trying to bury the story and cover it up uh, and prevent her from getting the video to show what actually really happened, so that she could uh, take this to civil proceedings. Well, see, Jerry, we've seen the city cover up crimes before. We've seen the city know, or city of previous mayoral administrations knew the crimes or abuse of power that was done by the CPD. Yeah. We've seen the story time. And again, get repeated over and over again. The the fact that Mayor Lightfoot had the audacity to say, "Oh, I didn't know. Oh, oh I didn't know." Like you have to be a very special situation. You're the mayor of the city. You have to know the comings and goings of every department, every institution in the city of Chicago. In the city of Chicago. All right. I'm not expecting the mayor to know every goddamn thing, but the fact that she knew about it and lied, just very similar to the other previous videos of oh, yeah. police corruption and police Rom, brutality. Rom didn't know what happened with – he never saw the video. A control freak like him or a control freak like Lightfoot, they they don't have the details. Right. And see, the thing is, like a while back when we, when we covered that one police shooting of that young boy where Mayor Lightfoot saw the video evidence and yeah. saying she couldn't comment on it, but let's face it, Jerry, we covered that on Chicago Corner. Yeah, of course we did.